we are now moving through the Kronstadt. It's a city nearby the St. Petersburg, small one. Uh, it's a navy fortress on the island named Kotlin. It's a capital station, bus stop, and so here we are. Our original idea was uh, to build the highest building on uh, Kotlin, on the Kronstadt, and so the, all the uh, seals, all the ships heading to the, to the island will be able to see the dome from a far distance, so it will be like a guide. Well, alternative to a lighthouse, I might say. This is the uh, second biggest cathedral in, uh, in Russia. This is for, um, for the Navy, for the people of army, and uh, it was built for the nation. For Soviet period it became a, like a cultural place, even a storage, but now, uh, later, that it was re-established. And all the plates inside, it's for the, for the memory of the people who did not return from the battles or from the scientific trips. It was started from Kronstadt, and for example, if we'll talk about science, there was people who was uh, like serving here in Kronstadt. This is one of the oldest bridges here, and uh, it's also a monument protected by UNESCO, same as a half of the Kronstadt and Kotlin Island. And it's shaking, <laughs> it makes me a little bit scared, but not too much. So, no panic. Panic, no panic. Oh my god, such a cute, such a cute. Oh. And a little bit of story of Kronstadt, uh, as I Google it. Um, Peter started building it in uh, 1703. Before, here on this island, Kotlin, there was a border of uh, Russia and uh, Sweden. And the Sweden uh, Navy, they put their ships here sometimes. But uh, they take it away on the winter period to the places where there is no completely frozen of everything around and the ship itself. So they got prepared docks in there. And no need to keep the ships around here. At the moment they take it away, Peter said, let's do it and they did they uh, built the unnatural island just putting a lot of stones under the water and 22 like small islands around it all of them on a distance of a cannon fire fire range so it's a start of st petersburg at one side and the second side it's the armor of st petersburg so it was protected as a navy city and uh, capital of russia and still, uh, Kronstadt is one of the most important navy bases of Russian Federation uh, before 1996. It was like a closed city, as a, like a base one, but now they opened it, make it available for tourists and even putting some you know, in the money in for infrastructure, so it's becoming even better and better for the tourists. And like, it's the place where the first diving school on the planet appears. Same as the first icebreaker or ice cracker ship. That's my girl. A snack, a drink, a blanket, a nice emotions, nice view. So maybe you can press the hot button here and subscribe our channel and make some activities. There's a missile exposition over there. Can you see it? Yes, you can. Wow, scary. A big number of tourists, even now, uh, still at the Kuwait period. And uh, it just because it's really interesting, especially if you uh, love history and the Navy, or history of Navy, then it's your place. It's smaller than Petergoff or Pushkinov, for example. And to walk across everything here, you need just a few hours. There is a fish statue, they're quite you know, popular in St. Pete, it's because during the World War II, uh, the city which was in a blockade is survived because of the fish in the rivers. So that was probably the only stable product to eat. So that was main event in this wonderful place. Uh, small one, as I was saying before. So yeah, don't plan a whole day here. Five hours will be enough just to walk around. In Drake, a uh, water trip. Uh, on the boat uh, or the meteor, it goes from St. Petersburg to Kronstadt and swim across and around all those islands, fortress, 
it's been given to the city in the, on the celebration of 300 years since the Kronstadt had been born. Mm. I make a wish. Some kid asked me for a coin. I said, why do you need money, boy? I said, I want some ice cream. I want ice cream! I said, okay, I can get you an ice cream, but I won't give you any money, because who knows, maybe you're trying to get some alcohol or something bad for you. So I said, no, uh, ice cream is okay, mister. I said, okay, which one? He said, like with peanut taste flavor, one bowl, please. I said, okay, boy, give me a five. And he did. That's the whole story. Be kind. A few meters from the Navy base and the city become just a normal quiet and small city with cozy balconies churches cathedrals living towns living homes with the different eras again the soviet a more like a historical pre-soviet We're tired, we're going back to St. Pete, happy and emotionally uprised. Press the heart button, subscribe our channel, follow our hearts, follow our spiritual travel feet and go to Russia, my darling friend. <laughs>